Hello and welcome to the second video in this series on how to make a game in Game Maker Studio 2. You remember you can watch each video individually or you can watch them as a playlist. This video we'll be looking at creating and importing sprites. Sprites are the visual part of Game Maker. Sprites are all the images for the characters, the enemies, the obstacles, the pickups, the collectibles, uh, the backgrounds, and so on. They're any kind of visual information or picture. To create a sprite, we have two options. Either I can right click in the middle of a blank workspace and it brings up a context menu which lets you create assets and create sprite. However, I find that more times than not, it ends up putting your sprite in the wrong folder, which can lead to confusion. Instead, what I like to do is look over in the asset browser on the right. In the asset browser, we have a folder called sprites. I'm going to single click on that folder to select it. Then I'm going to right click hover over create and in that sub menu I've got the option to create a sprite and as soon as I click that it opens up the sprite window in the workspace. In this window I've got lots of options and the first thing to consider is what am I going to call my sprite. In this name box over here at the moment, it's called by default Sprite 1. That is not a very good name because when you've got a more complete game, you'll have lots of sprites. And if they're all called Sprite followed by a number, you'll have to try and remember what Sprite 1002 is, and so on. So, I'm going to give it a sensible name. This is going to be my player character. So that's what I'll write, player character. However, MakeCode, uh, sorry, Game Maker Studio 2 has a habit of uh, confusing you if you have too many things called the same. So, for example, we will need to create a player char character object in the next video if it's the same name as player character the sprite. Well, that's going to cause confusion for us. So what I like to do for the names of any asset is put underscore and an abbreviation for what the name of the asset is. Well, this is a sprite, so I'm going to put underscore SPR for sprite. And that will remind you whilst I'm debugging the game or looking through lists of assets that this is talking about the sprite itself and not anything else that might have a similar name. The next thing to decide when creating a sprite is what resolution will you use. Resolution is essentially the size of the sprite. It is measured in pixels, width and height, and in this image subsection you can see W for width, 64 pixels, so it's 64 pixels wide, H for height, oh and 64 pixels high. Now, you need to decide what is going to be best for your game. Smaller resolutions like this make it much easier to draw pixel art. So if you're a good pixel artist, maybe keep the resolution small. However, if you want more, um, if you want a different art style which is not pixel based or has a higher resolution, you need to turn those numbers up. You need to make the size of the sprite larger. And we can do this with this size button. It looks like diagonal compass points, but it's resize sprite. If I click that, it brings up the sizing menu. You have an option to scale the image or resize the canvas. Scaling the image will uh, resize your sprite by actually changing the dimensions of the image. Resizing the canvas, which is what we want to do in this instance, changes the size of the area you have to draw the sprite.
So at the moment it's 64 by 64. Well, I know that I'm better at pixel art than traditional art. So I'm going to turn this down actually to 32 by 32. This is quite a low resolution, but it makes it much easier for drawing pixel art. And you need to decide what is best for your game. I'm going to click apply. And now we have a smaller canvas to work with. We have two options next about what the uh, actual image of the sprite, how that is generated. We can click Edit Sprite, which allows us to draw the sprite in Game Maker Studio's Sprite Editor, or we can import. Import will let you import an image file, and it'll treat that image file as a sprite. To start, I'm going to click Edit Image to show off the Sprite Editor. This is the Sprite Editor. At the top, we've got options for animation. On the right, we've got colors and brushes and things like fill tool, gradients, select, text, lines, curves, and so on. We've also got layers. Now in here, we could start drawing a sprite. So uh, if we wanted to do traditional stick figure, we could do something along the lines of this. Uh, it needs an outline because uh, we might not be able to see it on a black background, so let's give it a white outline, and so on. Okay. Imagine we fast forward and I've completed drawing this. If I then close the sprite editor by clicking close on this tab up here, we can see now it's loaded my sprite and it has attached what I've drawn to this asset here. And that is a good way of drawing sprites. Alternatively, if you wanted to import an image that maybe you've downloaded from the internet or maybe you've created a sprite in a different piece of software, we can click import. So for example, I drew this character in a piece of software where well, it's a website called piskillapp.com. There are alternatives available. You could use Photoshop, you could use paint.net, you could use anything that suits you as an artist best. But I saved it from this website, saved it onto my computer. I think what I drew here was pretty poor, so instead I'm going to click import and I'm going to import a sprite I've drawn beforehand and saved as a file on my computer. You'll get this warning, importing files. It's an un not an undoable action. What that means is anytime you import, it'll destroy what you've already drawn. That's not going to be a worry for us. So I'm going to click yes. Uh, I've loaded in the wrong one. I've loaded one in with a solid background rather than a transparent background. That will cause issues for the game. So I'm going to import and change that out to a different one. Uh, I believe it was, was it outline? Yeah, with outline. That's the one I wanted. Actually, let's go for the one with clipping. That's the one. Okay. I now have my character um, as a well, as a visual component of the game. So let's go and add the other components that we planned. This was back in the first video. I had my plan for all the different assets and characters and objects. So for the game that I'm making, I need a car sprite. So let's go to the sprites uh, folder, right click, create, find sprite. Give it a sensible name. This is going to be car SPR for the sprite. I'm going to decide the resolution. Let's import. Let's go car blue. 
It's not an undoable action, I know. Click yes. Okay. And so on. Between now and the next video, I will be importing the other sprites. The next video will be about creating objects and moving the character around. So stay tuned for that. In any case, see you there.